All right, time to check out the trailer for HSSB. You know, Hard Space Shipbreaker, the game that everyone's talking about. Honestly, the Hard Space kind of sounds like a rejected Steven Seagal movie from the 80s. Uh, to me, that sounds like an old 80s wrestling name. I never heard of this game before, um, but it's in space, and I like sci-fi. Every time we film one of these trailers on trial, we always get one comment that, okay, we actually get this comment a lot, and it often tells us, um, why do we talk so much? Why can't we just sit there quietly and watch? So you know what? I'm gonna sit here quietly and watch. Let's go. Oh gosh, okay. That'd be so scary being in some sort of like space accident. The industrialization of space. The industrialization of space. This voice actor is a little, <laughs> I don't believe it. It's kind of so turning out to be like an 80s ad for a game. AJ would have done a better job. I become the voice guy who does all the narration for the inform informational videos about the space age. You will travel to distant worlds, meet new people, earn lots of... I was just trying to apply for that job. Like, what would you have to put on your resume? I really don't think that when we are in outer space, it's going to look like all the sci-fi movies that we've seen. Taking parts off spaceships. Ah. You're just cutting things up and collecting things. Oh my God, how did it know this is exactly what I wanted to do in my spare time after a long day of work? I want to sit down, disassemble spaceships and put them back together. I can't think of a much, a, a better time to be honest. No! I don't want to be in debt. The corporation and its subsidiaries shall not be held liable for the injury and or death of any participant in ship breaking activities resulting from the inherent risks. Yo, it's Rap God. They got Eminem to do this? Exposure to extreme temperatures, incidental... Okay, now it sounds like one of those uh, pharmaceutical ads in the States with all those side effects. Shout out to the commenters who asked us to be quiet and watch. I just can't do it. Sorry, man. <laughs> you can live a life of danger without being worried about extraterrestrials. But then, like, what's the point? That's the whole point of being in space. Who wants to see some aliens? Now on Steam Early Access. See, I was thinking that like just being a shipbreaker would be one of those like relaxing games, you know, like a Stardew Valley, you kind of just like have to go in and do your farm and everything's fine. But this just looks like stress inducing. Uh, interesting. I don't know if I'm into playing a game about me being in debt, because let's face it, I don't even play Animal Crossing. So why would I play this game where I'm in debt and then have to go dumpster diving in order to get out of debt? Not for me. Honestly, it kind of seems like the concept that someone is really passionate about, like someone, I don't know, won the lottery or inherited a bunch of money and they're like, I've always wanted to play a game where I go to space and I cut up broken down spaceships and turn in the materials for awards and manage to assemble a team of people to make this game because who else out there has ever had the fantasy of doing that specific thing? All right, just, you know, another space game. Is that seems to be like trendy right now? Um, I like the money management aspect of it. So it seems like when you die, to come back to life, you have to pay a cost. But what is the punishment for racking up a lot of debt? Is there a space government that will come after you? Um, is it one of those cases? But otherwise, like, I don't understand the harm. Maybe, there, maybe there's gonna be aliens that come after you to collect the debt, you know what I mean? Okay, so maybe there, there's probably more to the story than we're seeing. So I'm a little intrigued. But, oh shoot, I was supposed to sit quietly this whole time, sorry.